Happy here with Pat's Woodwork team. Hope everybody's doing wonderful. We're going to be sitting and making us some, what do they call them, uh, blanket racks or t uh, oversized hmm, towel racks. You can make small versions of these into towel racks for bathrooms. But we're going to be starting out ripping down a, getting a straight edge on this walnut. We're going to be making that up walnut and some red oak. But like I said, we're going to start off with a nice, clean, straight edge. These long boards had to make some room there. Here it comes. All right. Then here we go again. We're going to start cutting down this here. And this oak here, getting a straight edge as well. All right. Now we're going to be cutting these down to two inch strips. We're going to be kind of using that straight edge against the, uh, against the fence to make a good joint when we start to glue them all together. Kind of make a little design with the walnut and the and red oak. Now we're gonna be cutting down. These is what for the support st uh, stuff. We're gonna be cutting them down to ten inch things. If you, uh, uh, so we can have it night and get support system and to hold the weight of the uh, blankets. All right. Now we're gonna be milling it down. I go up to the front of the racks to about. Two inches wide and in, in that inch and a quarter uh, thick. That way we could be nice, uh, nice and smooth and look at it and use the planer to do a lot of the sanding for us. Alright, still got it rolling through here. So we got it here. All right, now we're gonna be starting the glue up on and putting, getting the, the edges together. Put a nice edge on. I know you can't really see what I'm doing right now because I was not paying much attention to the camera position because I was kind of struggling with some clamps. But what I'm doing is doing a butt end joint, which is part of one of the actual mistakes I've caught. I should not have went with the butt joints. I should have at least done a rabbit joint there. Um, the glue probably would have held a lot better. This problem and this right here resulted in the reason why I had to go to the next step and put some screws in it to, to support the edges. It was too thin a board to use the crackhead pocket screws, so I had to screw some on the outside there. Now, one tip is not to tie, uh, not to tighten it with your uh, too much, um, or it will pop up on you. So just 
get uh, just do a nice squeeze where the glue comes and hey, you got some glue coming out but uh, and don't be afraid of it sticking to the table kind of like it did on me all right this is following up what I, I was saying the butt joints were as strong as I wanted it to be should I'm not, I'm not giving much forethought so I go ahead and put in some wood screws in to, to put the joints put some good support in those joints by the way yeah I'm a Star Wars fan Just, uh, this was not one of my best videos, but in, especially with trying some new things with the forward facing camera, trying to see me in uh, lip biting more of why I'm doing some of this work. Um, I want to appreciate everybody who's still here around and still uh, still checking out. And please leave a comment and follow and subscribe. Um, and as you see in these pictures, it is uh, it comes out very nice and it still upholds. The wife loves it. She's showing it off to all her friends. Go ahead and try and make you some. And I'll be having plans come out here shortly. And